who's number two of the lower bracket. We're going to jump in. It's Gareth and Lacoste. Thank you so much. Yes, we continue the story of two tournaments almost intertwined with each other. <laughs> we'll give everyone a chance to play here at Fit Name. So far, Luna only one last hit, but does have a kind of a wave and a half coming in towards her, keeping that lane equilibrium right in front of the tier one tower. He's down at bottom, Fishman taking a bit of a beating from Crit and Nightfall. Double melee against Bristleback and Maiden. How's this going to go for EG? Night Soccer does really well because he did start. I, I love his starting on a build going for Magic Wand, then extra branch that brought uh, extra tangos. Night Soccer does have a lot of base region if level 1, 4.7, and he's sitting at 5 armor. So it's a decent matchup against the Bristleback. Yeah. Yeah, very difficult to zone him out of lane, especially with those 1 charges. Toby sitting around half HP, which is dangerous Oops. territory when Fly and Arteezy can put the Poison Touch on him and just get first blood. Easy as that. Katsuomi also dropping pretty... From, from the Bristleback and also yeah. infused frame drop to be able to spam this out. Wow, with Marcy here, Fly onto Stormstorm, but there you go. Trying to heal up Crit, but Stormstorm are pretty tanky with a wand and the Windlace to maneuver himself back over the crystals, but still falls. Arbed using every single point of mana to perfection to get that kill. And again, Fly, he's fodder. Don't mind if he dies. He drops a couple of oopses, but uh, position five down. So for the bat right. Oh, Arcane well Rune from Abed. Oh, he I also see. got that Soul Rings and Sidekick on top of that. Dyer's That's uh, two points in Sidekick. So no, extra no. 35. And the dive again. Nightfall. He's found the angle to come in onto the Wyvern. EG's aggression seemingly unstoppable at this point. Fly is being left to die, though, as Fishman and Toby. He can't yeah, DP out because of the frostbite. We'll try to maybe prolong, but to get some nuke down immediately. And it's really good that they are taking some pressure off RTG because he still needs to get back into the game. He did found a really good neutral item, the Possessed Mask, going into Mask of Madness for himself. High ground. He's Sableite, Storm Storm, Lasso's Luna. Can they save RTG here with the Freezing Field out? Our bed there with the BKB out of RTG turns the fight. The winner's good. Four man silence. But Nightfall's in the back, you're right. He's got the Crippling Fear starting them up, but RTG's perfectly fine. EG will TP out with a grave out with Fly. He's in the fountain, safe and sound. And that's just a, a death on the maiden with a buyback from Entity. Spending all their ulties, though. It did cost EG two BKBs, uh, but uh, Nightfall controlling the whole back lines off Entity, not allowing anyone to get close. Also, forcing Crystal Maiden to use her buyback. Not the most important one, but, uh, you know, it surprise. tends to add up. And uh, seems like uh, EG still might want to poke a little bit. Storm, he's straight in. Arbe, trying to surprise them here, but the Frostbite's on him. Has plenty of mana to zip and TP away, though. <laughs> and Storm Stormer playing this Bat Rider. Can try and scale, but crit straight in. Oh, no BKB. Oh, BKB. And look at Nightfall. He's there with the Crystal Fear, focusing down the main. Call the brains in the last so will drag the Night Stalker away. But Arteezy comes in. He's got some hefty damage, but he's stunned. He's rooted. Chain disabled. They dispose one back for crit. He's burning in the fire and the poison. Well, Arthur, he's got to turn and fight. Our bet does still have this Ages of the Immortal as they break seconds. down Saber Light. One more Wait. hit will do the job. And Arbet Arbet wants to die. He's first giving that down. high five. Grave already used. Everyone is low HP, but the Entity, they don't have anything to But they want to be able to see Vyvern and kill him. They also want to see Batrider potentially getting the first initiation. Toby in a lot of trouble. They get the last one on Arteezy. Can they focus him down? And so he's so tanky. He BKBs up, eclipses out. Saber Light. He's just dying to these loosened beams landing on his head. Nightfall's already picked up. Another kill, and Arbet, he sliced Fishman in half. Three heroes gone. I, I think Entity has. Oh, that's great stuff. EG prep themselves for another go. Bottom tier two, you know, at half HP could be taken, but they're just going to plant themselves in Radiant Triangle. Under a bit of vision, though. Saberlight being pinged out. Nightfall ready to go. Oh, he showed himself. Break. Broken. Oh, he dies so quickly. Nightfall's in. Chase him down and kill him, even though he's up to his tier three. Winter's curse is decent. Grave is available. That is the nice stalker, but you are perfectly correct, Lacoste. Nightfall will get graved, BKB, and run to safety yet again. He'll uh, probably <laughs> stick around to uh, eat uh, a but like the game might just end before then. Yeah, it's time to seek the high ground. Lincoln's on Arteezy. So they can't lasso and drag him back. He's holding Aegis, has BKB. 
and an impregnable push here by EG. A catch on crit. Stormstorm is in. BKB is up, but they can't kill it. Finchman loses his life. Oh my god, he's blowing. Katsuomi's picked up. Both supports gone. GG is. I'll go. <laughs> I'll go with EG. Yeah, same. EG for me as well. Oh, these guys think it's Came from what the EG had in the previous one. They had Storm, Night Stalker, Marcy. They could move around the map and uh, force these fights. Uh, but now they need to bring numbers. Kato will be keeping himself alive. Katuma is down though, and TB right. Save alive, focusing it down. The coil going to snap in there. Fishman Nightmares himself as Nightfall is deep under this tier one. Toby hunted by Arbed with another waiting rift, but the race is about to die. Fishman, with the help of the familiars, finds him while Toby dead under his tower. EG, a two for three trade, which they come out in an advantageous position. Crit comes in, level three they tombstone. The tombstone. We're gonna zone them all away. A courier is just standing there while the Winter's Curse does come in on the undark. Oh, please stop attacking me. Oh. They kind of burst him with the soul assumption. Storm they caught Storm. Fishman, though. And they did, under tower. Again, the trade, one for one. This tier one tower lift up. Catapult still going, whacking away at the building. As Entity have to break the tombstone to allow them to advance forward. Stormstormer leading the charge, goes straight on Nightfall, but his bird's falling quickly. While well, this tower's still alive, Ahmed, he just comes out from the trees, pokes his head into the fight, jumps away with a jaunt to the orb, and a deny on the... ...as well. As a ganking one, Fly, the one to break the smoke, going to get jumped on immediately. It's not an easy kill, and Chantress turns into a piggy and has that untouchable with the nature's attendance going. They'll slow it down, Nightmare her up, and try and push that magic damage back into Fly to finish off the Bambi. A slow one, but a kill nonetheless. As Roshan, ooh, Entity with the attempt into the pit. They definitely do have damage uh, with these Eidolons uh, with the birds. Question is, will EG take this fight? Tombstone is available. This is why he decided to go for Aghanim Scepter to scout things out. Like, their pickoff game is good if you think about, like, Night Stalker, uh, but he doesn't have a Blink Dagger yet, so still a bit uh, difficult to execute. And this Aghanim Scepter coming in clutch. Inside Roche Pit they go, and then number two. EG's definitely not gonna try to go for this one. With no puck. No, no BKB on Razor. It, it should be up uh, relatively soon, but uh, puck dead and also just respecting that there is no meta for 60 seconds. Like, they have that stone for, for himself. Oh, the curse! Catching out crit here. Two heroes, three in fact, zapping into him. And Katsuomi just found, finds the immediate solo kill in a 1v4 scenario. Stormstormer with Sabrelight at the top of the net worth. A little bit surprising when they're opposing a Terra Blade. Usually Arteezy with his TB, he's, he's right at the top, racing away with farm. 480 GPM there, but almost 500 on the visage. visage. That's, a, that's a bit surprising. And uh, he's going for the Hex next. That extra damage from Magnum Scepter, it, it should be respected. The EG hunted in this Stormstormer. And Sabrelight over the top of the trees. Quick and free onto Arteezy, while Crit, the Undying being found here. Sableye just chases him down. Entity, they're up and running now. A catch onto the Razor as well. Just one by one, they're toppling dominoes over. EG, the VKB up on the Razor, but the grip comes from Fishman, holds him in place, and Sableye whacks him down into the ground. Stormstormer, coiled and dusted. Stone form though, and the catcher of crit in the back. He's trying to heal himself with the Holy Locket, but Sabrelight has his number one, the curse. It's on Arbin. Entity, blow them off, and Toby, he's got the black hole they've been waiting for. Solo's aren't easy, and a nightmare. The TP cancelled, down you go, Fly. The Enchantress getting picked off as the last casualty of war. They see Stormstormer, but he was already invis. He also does have a gem of true sight and gets coiled, uses uh, the stone form. It, it feels like at this point. Oh, Fishman. Trying to take the outpost. He is slowed down, but in comes Sableye. Oh, he's found out. It's Puck. Is he just going to kill off the Puck? No, of course not. Still in it. The curse comes in. And now Arteezy will rip apart his teammates. Katsuomi claims the kill while Sableye finishes off Nightfall's courier. EG on the run. 
They can't continue fighting. There's no meta for 30 seconds. And Stormstorm is safe alive. They combo up to go back in. This nice stalker, he is a nightmare for EG. Not just him, also Bane uh, causing these uh, nightmares as well. And they're still not done. Night Stalker chasing. Uh, He's poking. He's prodding. His initiations were really on point. Yeah, if you saw on the high ground, time to fall back for Entity. Just don't do that. not take this fight. If if they try to get a little bit out of the, the area, go for it. They just go straight on off easy. Don't be a black hole. He's gone in with a midnight pulse. Malefice on the terror blade. Sars will end though. Saberlight. He's not gonna get sundered though. Forcing Artura away. He's flying trying to save the TB. Gets oh himself to high ground. Storm Stormer, Katoomi, Saberlight. You do you go for this. You know is so very low. They get a couple of kills on supports, and they're pushing high ground 28 minutes in. Diamonds they will poke, uh, see what happens. Uh, oh, they get found? some chip damage, save with life. Uh, won't TP out, but yeah, they found Puck. They don't have Nightmare. Oh, Silence not there on time. Oh, or is there? Oh, they're going to catch him here. He gets the Ghost Scepter off, has an Arcane Rune to pop, jumps away. Diamonds Another roar. He's back to safety while Storm Vision from EG and domineering from Entity. They catch out Crit. Tombstone's down. Can't do too much about Saberlight now. They found Arbed's puck because he's blown up. Dead no buyback. And Arteezy will try to stand his ground and fight with his nightmare. Saberlight's killed off the Tombstone. Another layer of silence. Another BKB up, but they're sarsing this Arteezy TB. Left and right, he drifts away with his four staff. Storm Stormer healed up by the cold embrace. And Saberlight, he's been sundered up, but Toby's in. He'll black hole the TV, solo him down. No cares in the world, and GG called. Entity tied things up one to one. Not a pink down the clockwork. And Saberlight managing to get the last hit there with the Beastmaster. Saberlight. Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> Production. <laughs> Any more words for this man? <laughs> AJ, hey, they fake fired the last game. And we go. Oil on Star Stormer. By the tiny. Exo used as well. A lot expended here to bring down a tiny. What, what's next for EG? Can they can they push mid with exorcism? Try to punish me. Yeah, I need to cast uh, saying player's name backwards for two minutes. Oh dear, well, Deba is chasing this Beastmaster. I'll start it off for you there, a little bit of a help, but he's been roared up. Saberlight holds the puck back, the grip comes in, cancelled by the Golem though. Fly looking to continue this battle with Fishman, who will nightmare back the Death Prophet, but Crit's got his number. Battery Assault and a couple of touches takes him down, and lots of ultimates expended for one kill on a position five support. It, it, that you don't want to use that because it's going to be soaking a lot, a lot of damage. Crit uh, getting caught. Yeah. Clockwork, nightmare up. Tiny is also arriving. We'll blink and uh, a debut of that initiation out of the dagger. Takes down the clockwork. I guess that they also have fatal bonds, right? So if they bond up that big helm creep to some other squishier targets like the Bane or the Wyvern, maybe they can do enough damage through the summon to take like ancient granite golem. Tanking up and allowing Storm Stormer to wail away at the big man in the pit. Evil geniuses, they're not smoked, they're trying to prep themselves, it looks like. It's too late to contest. So they'll just de-ward and find themselves a little bit of space elsewhere on the map. And what, what, what does this first Aegis give Entity? Is this just a tower taking Aegis? Who's gonna be the one picking it up? Okay, they're gonna give it to Storm Stormer. Toby will have his BKB available. Zora. A little hawk dive bomb maybe opens things up for Toby to kill off life. Artesian crit toying with the razor, but oh, it's BKB. BKB. Gets away from the concoction. The golem defensively dropped on top of them. Katomi does still have that curse to play around with as crit blown up by Saberlight. They've killed the golem. A three man coil comes. Raw cancelled out a little bit by the main ship. They can't get the target in onto the pod, but Storm Storm is in the back. Blows up the DP. EG are crumbling. Crit has brought back to try and continue this fight, but there's no way back in. Entity so strong as this five man unit. Arbet, he's hiding behind the tree line. They're going to find the punk here, potentially. No, they shift away. Look for Crit instead. Focus the clockwork as the easier target. And the granite golem pummels him down. Incredibly difficult to kill this man now as the dive bomb there will see it in action onto Nightfall. Razor arrives, the roar from Saber like trying to secure this kill even through the Shadow Word. They have enough damage. Saberlight having a perfect game, 8-0 and 4, taking that uh, early tier 1 tower, rotating to mid, uh, securing that one, and then being all over the place, uh, getting the pick-offs, and 
I heard you saying the dive bomb like six times in the last couple of minutes. He's got blink curse. He can just make the jump here. Straight onto Arbe. Catches out the pot. Fishman has the grip as well. The hook shot in is decent. Arbe gets away from danger. Toby going to turn onto Nightfall. Maybe think about diving high ground, but Crit has offered himself to the gods of Entity. The sacrifice for these like sacrificial hook shots uh, have been on point because they could not get the core kill. Right on time, stopping the Fiend's grip and also not allowing Beastmaster to close the gap, he needed like half a second to be able to get the roar and then Puck is definitely Can they find it? Vision is there. Sentry and off. Spot Storm Stormer. Yeah, got Ancients coming across as well. A concoction in. Fatal Bonds as well. As Crick. And he's trying to get himself out of here. The high bomb towards Arbed though. They just kill the Puck. No escape for Arbed and the plasma field slows them down. Nightfield, Nightfield, Nightfall and Crick. Jet packing up to the high ground. And Toby's diving. He does have an out of plasma field. They can go in for the kill. He'll find the wall off too. They brought Nightfall. What could RTZ even do? They'll lose the death problem inside their own base. And he's been there as well. They've killed them all. PG are dead. Entity are going to break the Radiant base. And EG was that so full close. Team wipe with the Beastmaster's aura. They, this is one set of barons. There is no tier 2 tower on the mid lane. So that's potentially an extra set. And they didn't even use the Aegis on Tiny. So close to TI. Sets of barracks down. They're going to have even harder time. So what Entity can do is hold this high ground, always uh, kill the mid wave, always kill the top wave until the top connects, kill the tier 2 tower, and potentially get a toss back. Moonshard on a tiny now. Abed, ooh, he used his face shift. Dive bomb in, catch the puck, silence comes, so no toss back. Creep being wiped around by the big boat sword of tiny while they grip on easy. easy. They found the alchemist, the big kill for Entity, and they'll take him down. No buyback for him. Two heroes gone on EG. And that's got to be the end of their run. Entity aim for buildings. Look for the finish. And focus down this final lane of barrel.